Today I'm gonna show you how you can create super professional websites like this one for free. And the best part is that you don't need to have any design or coding knowledge to do it. Trust me, this is so easy that even my nonna can do it. So before we start, you will need to create four accounts. So the first two apps, Framer and Linktree, will help us to create and share our website online. And then you have Bitly and Canva on the other hand that will help us to share our website offline. Now before we start, I just wanna mention that these accounts are completely free. If they happen to ask you to upgrade for any reason, don't do it. You just need the basic plan. Just sign up using your email and you're good to go. And also to help speed the process, I've left the links in the description so you can click on those, create the accounts, and when you're ready, come back and then we can move to step number one, which is selecting your website template. So for that, first we need to head over to framer.com, go to resources, templates, and select a template for our website. Now, the good thing about Framer is that they have a ton of options. Now, I'm not sure if they have over a thousand templates like they're claiming, but what I do know for sure is that you will definitely find something that you like. But because in this video, I said that I'm gonna show you how to create a free website, we are going to focus only on the free templates that they have. So head over here where it says free, now scroll down and just find the template that you like. And in case you're in doubt, just remember that you can preview this just to make sure that this template is what you're looking for. And once you're happy, just click on use for free, add your email, and then click submit. And then the only thing we need to do is to wait for Framer to send us an email with the link to our new template. And when it finally hits your inbox, click on Get Template. After you do that, we are ready to start step number two, which is editing our template. Now, when you open up Framer, if you're not used to these types of interfaces, it can be a bit intimidating. Don't panic, we are not here to start designing anything. We are just here to change some text and some images, that's all. To edit text, simply click on the text, go here in the sidebar, and then change your text. Same for images, just select the image, go on the side panel and replace your image. And if you don't have any good images, then you can simply search free stock images using Unsplash. And now just go ahead and start modifying the rest of the template. Change the text, replace your images, change links, remove elements, do whatever changes you need to personalize this to your own needs. Now, if you're struggling with the text, just remember that you always have tools like ChatGPT to help you generate more punchy lines. So if your new text is messing up your designs because it's too short or too long, just ask ChatGPT to rewrite your text or headline to fit in a set amount of characters that you need. And once you're done customizing your template, just go ahead and hit publish. And voila, now you're the proud owner of a brand new and live website. But there is a small problem. The URL is just terrible. And there's no way on earth anyone can remember that. Plus, it looks a bit amateur. Hence why we are moving to step number three, which is hiding the ugly URL. And here is where Linktree comes in handy. Just log into your account and go through the setup process. And when you're done, you should see something like this. Obviously, the design will be a bit different depending on the designs that you chose during the setup, but the concept is the same. So head over here to add link, enter your ugly URL, change the title, and you're done. Now, when I'm gonna share my Linktree link with someone, they will not see an ugly link anymore, they will just see a nice button. Now I can copy my Linktree link, add it to my social media, and the job is done. Now I have a professional website that can be accessed from any device. And most importantly is that this is not associated with a domain or a URL. So when someone needs to remember your website, they will need to remember your social media because there's no way on earth they can remember that URL. And the thing is, this gives you an extra chance to convert them to a follower as well. Bringing down your customer acquisition cost and increasing your ROI in the same time. Just genius. But what happens if you want to add your newly created website on a flyer, poster, or on a business card? Here is where Bitly comes in handy as the platform allows you to transform any URL into a QR code. And this brings us to step number four, which is hiding the ugly URL behind the not so ugly QR code. Now head over to bitly.com, log into your account, click on create new, 
select QR code, add your link, add the title, click on design your code, change your design if you need to, hit again create your code and then just download the QR image as a PNG. And now you can do whatever you want with this code. You can print it on an iPhone case, you can print it on a t-shirt, you can put it on a poster, flyer, business card, it doesn't matter. You can use it wherever you want. Which brings us to step number five, printing the not so ugly QR code. For this you can use pretty much any printing services you prefer, but today I'm just gonna demonstrate this using Canva. So log into your account, search for a business card, then select a template that goes well with your newly created website, customize template, change your details, do whatever modifications you need, and on the back of the card just add the not so ugly QR code which you generated previously. And now people can scan your QR code with their phones and will land straight into your brand new state of the art free website. And the best part is that because your URL is so horrible, the only way people will remember it is if they have the business card. So people who are interested in your service or product will always keep your card in a safe place, which makes it better for the environment. Now, if this doesn't excite you to make you wanna start your own business or that side hustle that you kept pushing aside or to update your ugly PDF portfolio, I don't know what will. So hit that like button if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button like there's no tomorrow, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and happy design, bye.